You know, life is so full of irony. I mean, here I am, wife of the year, in the struggle for equal rights for women because of my wonderful, emancipated husband. And there's poor Grace Roberts. Her husband, Chubby, died and left her with a will that tied up every nickel. Every single nickel. Uh, she'll never forgive him. You know, she puts fresh flowers on his grave every day just because he had hay fever. <laughs> Maud, would you help with this? The Finleys, husband and wife of the year. Very clever of you, Walter, to get in on this women's equality thing. What are you talking about, Arthur? Oh, come on, Monty. You know what an old fox Walter is. Women buy washing machines. He sells washing machines. So? Well, what better way to get in with the ladies than to subscribe to this equal rights nonsense? Nonsense? Oh. <laughs> Forget it, boy. Maybe I better wear my snap on. Just hold still. Arthur, you can't bear the thought of a woman being your equal, can you? Well, let me tell you something. 30 states have already ratified that amendment. Only eight more to go, and it's going to be the law of the land. Well, Maude, I'm, I'm not saying the amendment's all bad. I believe in equal pay for equal jobs. I think female secretaries should get the same pay as male secretaries. Yeah, but what about executives, Arthur? How do you feel about equal pay for men and women executives? Women shouldn't be executives. They're too emotional. Too emotional? <laughs> you get it, See, right away you get emotional. Can you imagine what it'd be like in this country if you had a woman president? Heaven help us if the hotline should ring at the wrong time of the month. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you telling me that President Nixon is not at all emotional? That that's just dew that we see on his upper lip? <laughs> Stop moving. Your Adam's apple keeps loosening the tie. Maud, will you wait a second? Just wait a second. Arthur, I don't want you to aggravate Maud anymore. It just so happens that I'm very proud of her, and I'm for women's equality to 100%. What's more, I'll bet you don't even know what the Equal Rights Amendment says. I'll tell you what it says. Equal Rights Amendment. Equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of sex. That's all? That's it. A tangled web of legal mumbo-jumbo, if you ask me. Honey, you tried. Well, you change this no, 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 no. This Equal Rights Amendment strikes at the very heart of the American family. We'll end up with a country full of working mothers, neglected husbands, and crying children. All because of women's lib. Arthur, forget women's lib. Arthur, forget the so-called movement. Arthur, this is something bigger than all of that. This is, this is something unorganized. This is a feeling. Arthur, it's a tidal wave of feeling that is leaping through the hearts of women with you on the floor. <laughs> oh, let me alone. Wear your snap on. <laughs> Goodbye, Grace. <laughs>